Hello everyone, this question is from GATE 2019, Mechanical Engineering, Site 1. This is question number 8. Congo was named by Europeans. Congo's dictator Mobuto later changed the name of the country and the river to Zaire with the objective of Africanizing name of persons and spaces. However, the name Zaire was a Portuguese alteration of Nazdi or Nazare, a local African town meaning river that swallows river. Zaire was the Portuguese name of the Congo River in 16th and 17th centuries. Which one of the following statement can be inferred from the paragraph above? Option A is Mobuto was not entirely successful in Africanizing the name of his country. Option B is the term Nazdi or Nazire was of Portuguese origin. Option C is Mobuto's desire to Africanize names was prevented by Portuguese. Option D is as a dictator, Mobuto ordered the Portuguese to alter the name of river to Zai. To find the correct statement from the above paragraph, let us go. Option by option. Option A is Mobuto was not entirely successful in Africanizing the name of his country. This statement seems to be correct. As we can see that the Mobuto changed the name of Congo to Zaire, but Zaire was a Portuguese alteration of the term Nazdio Nazare, which was a local African term. Therefore, the name Zaire was of Portuguese origin and therefore Mobuto was not entirely successful in Africanizing the name of his country. Option B is the term Nazdi or Nazare was of Portuguese origin. In this case, the term Nazdi or Nazare is a local African term. However, from the paragraph, it cannot be inferred whether it was of Portuguese origin or not. Option C, Mobuto's desire to Africanize names was prevented by Portuguese is incorrect, as from the paragraph it cannot be inferred that Portuguese in any way prevented Mobuto's desire to Africanize the names of the country and person. Option D is again incorrect, as Mobuto was dictator of Congo and he did not order Portuguese to alter the name of river. So the right answer to this question is option A. Mobuto was not entirely successful in Africanizing the name of his country.